happy Thursday. I'm gonna wait just a second while people hop on, but it has been a while since I have been on live and one of the last times I did it, my phone was glitching and doing weird things, but I'm super excited to be back on and hello everybody. Happy Thursday, good morning, good afternoon, um, good night, wherever you are located. Hi everybody, oh my goodness. You guys dropped questions for me below in the question box and ask me anything, but I would love to update you guys just on my year, on my prep for Miss Universe, which is coming up so, so soon. I'm super excited and I really can't wait. You can't hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Someone said they couldn't hear me. Hi! I'm super excited for Universe. I literally cannot wait. Oh, what a dream come true. I um, Have I chosen my dress for Miss Universe? I have. I have. Um, um, Oh, I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you guys, but I'm keeping that a secret. I want you all to be uh, surprised and excited to see it for the first time. Um, but tell me what colors you think I might wear or um, what you see me in. I'd love to know and see if anybody guesses it correctly or not. I'm trying to read all these questions. Oh, the question box is filling up and you guys are rolling in the questions. Um, well, oh, how exciting. Let me read some of these questions. Oh, we got... Oh, just one hint, one hint for my dress. Um, uh, let me think about it. Let me think about a hint that won't really give it away, <laughs> but it'll make you think. Um, we got white, yellow, purple, gold. Um, you guys are so sweet. Oh my goodness. Hi from the Philippines, hello. From Malaysia, hi, Australia. I love seeing when you guys are, seeing where you guys are from. I will definitely take tons of photos while I'm at Miss Universe, do not worry. Let's see some of these questions. What country are you most excited to meet at Miss Universe? Will that pop up? Oh look, it popped up, okay. Um, honestly, all of them i know that sounds like such a broad and basic answer but i mean i i want to meet everyone i'm super excited to meet everyone and so i guess i'll say i'm most excited to meet my roommate but i don't know who it is so <laughs> there's a little bit of um mystery there uh let's see what else we have here how old am i i am 22 What color is your gown or the designer? Well, the designer is Sherry Hill. She is the Miss USA sponsor, but I'm not gonna tell you the color. <laughs> I will tell you it's not black and white. <laughs> Ooh, someone said a dark blue dress. Can we get a sneak peek of your national costume? So I will tell you guys, someone wants Philippines to be my roommate. Love from Jamaica, from France, hello. Sorry, you guys are rolling in the questions so quickly. Makeup tips. Oh, there's a lot, I can't keep up. Okay, I'm just gonna start talking a little bit about my preparation. Um, for Miss Universe as of lately. I will tell you guys, a lot of the focus recently has been on wardrobe because obviously you have your interview outfit, your evening gown, your outfits for each and every day while you're there on location. And I have 
really had a good time with that. I actually spent several hours yesterday working on some finishing pieces and everything. So I'm excited for you guys to see what I'm bringing to the table and to see what, um, it's really hard to, to like see all these questions come through and keep talking. Oh my goodness, you guys are amazing by the way. Um, but yeah, to, to really, I just wanna you know show my personality through my wardrobe each day and really love what I'm wearing and feel confident in my skin because really when you feel confident on the outside, I feel like it really shines through from the inside and that's really what I want to have. I wanna have confidence while I'm at Miss Universe. I want to um, really showcase me and everything that represents who I am, everything that makes me Asia authentically myself. So I'm excited for you guys to be able to follow along with that journey. And um, I, when is, sorry. Oh, whoops, I'm clicking on things. Anyway, so I'm most excited for the competition itself. Like I'm just truly, truly grateful that we're able to have a Miss Universe competition. I'm super excited to meet all the other competitors, the incredible young ladies. We have a group message going and so it's nice to get to know them through there. And uh, I feel like they have such big hearts and I'm super excited to be with them in person, get to experience that face to face. And I just hope that we're able to all just have a good time and interact and uh, enjoy the experience all together. I have been doing several things to prep. I think a lot of the things that have always gone into prep for me um, in pageants overall is just life. I feel, I, I'm trying to find the best way to explain that, but you know, having a, a hectic agenda and being able to balance and really navigate through um, busy, a busy schedule and um, still being able to stay on top of your your healthy lifestyle eating habits and working out and also i find that working out helps me overall just because it boosts my endorphins and it really allows me to um, think straight it keeps my body healthy keeps my blood flowing keeps my heart healthy and that makes me feel good overall which then i'm able to incorporate that into my everyday life and everything that i'm doing so um, have I met any of the girls already? I have, I've met some of them through social media, if that counts. I think the only person that I have actually met in person would be El Salvador, um, back at the beginning of the year, was it the beginning of the year or the end of last year? But I think she's the only one that I have met in person. I can't wait for Miss Universe either. It's so close, it's crazy. So I'm super excited. Um, finishing touches are coming along. I'm excited for you all to see my national costume. Can anyone guess? I would love to see you guys as guesses for my national costume. We did gowns already and um, I don't. I actually don't think I saw anyone guess the right color for my gown. Close, I think I saw some close some close guesses, but not exact. Um, I'm gonna check the question box again. Everyone wants to know the, um, the entertainment, the live performers, I don't know. I can't tell you. Your guess is as good as mine. Ooh, someone asked, what is some of the advice Chesley gave me for competition? So, let me click off of this. Um, so Chesley and I talk, um, we talk pretty regularly and she has been such an incredible friend to have throughout this journey. And I, I think the best advice she's given me would probably be to feel my best, if that makes sense. So I would kind of touched on this earlier about, you know, when you look good on the outside, it makes you feel better on the inside. And so just, she was like, just go all out, you know, don't leave any stones unturned. Just really make sure that you, you approach each and every day at your best self so that you can carry that throughout the entire day. Because it, it really is a true statement. Because have you ever been in a situation where you 
uh, may not be at your best, like you didn't fix your hair or your makeup right or your outfit's not up to par and you see everyone around you and you feel like you're underdressed or under um, glammed or something along those lines. This could happen in numerous occasions, but, and you know, it makes you start questioning things. You start thinking, oh, well, I should have done this or I could have done that. And you know, if you just go out every day and be at your best self, then you won't have those constant questions, those constant doubts, which will help you carry that confidence throughout the competition. Family in Michigan, hello. For y'all that don't know, I was born in Michigan. Um, uh, let's see, I saw something just a second ago. Let me find it again. Um, I think, <laughs> you guys, someone has guessed. Someone has guessed. I'm not gonna tell you who guessed the gown color, but it's somewhere in there. I love to keep you guys guessing. It's so much fun. I'm super excited. Don't forget to eat queso every now and then. <laughs> I, you guys, love me some queso. I, anything with cheese, mm delicious um yes yeah, so can't go without my case so definitely that's one of those i am I'm, I'm someone that will not deprive myself of food but i do have a naturally healthy diet so but a little cheat here and there doesn't hurt i think you just have to know your body and know what it needs and know what it takes to keep it in the shape that you want it to be in or get it into the shape that you want it to be in I've always been very active my entire life, so um, it's been, it hasn't been that difficult for me just because I've learned my body over the years. I know um, how quickly it will transform and what I have to do to get it in the shape that I want it to be in. And so it's all about knowing yourself because what works for one person may not work for the next person. All of our bodies were made so beautifully, so uniquely, and so differently. And I think it's all about learning about yourself and what works best for you. And for me, I am like a bottomless pit. So I eat all the time, and but I do also work out. I did a workout first thing this morning and we'll be doing another one. Can you guys still see me? I think the connection messed up. Um, we, um, so I'm seeing quite, yes, my gown is Sherry Hill. Um, the, we, we as the contestants have a group message going. Um, where am I gonna go after Miss USA? I don't know, I'm still kind of figuring that out, but I always have an open mind when it comes to these types of things because I just, wherever my path leads, I follow. And so it just depends on opportunities and experiences and, and you know, where life takes me at that point. But uh, I'm not closed off to any options. If life calls me to stay in the city, then here I will stay. If it calls me to go out of the country, I will go. If it calls me, you know, to a different state, different coast, um, I'll go. I'll go wherever life leads me. I, um, I'm open to so many different things. Um, I'm gonna answer just a couple more questions and then I'll hop off. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things about like arrival in Florida, but I imagine it will be much similar to the protocols in uh, Memphis for Miss USA. Uh, we were in small working groups. Well, upon arrival, we were COVID tested and quarantined until our results came back. And then we were able to meet with our roommates once we were both negative. And then we went on about the rest of the competition, but we had regular COVID testings. We wore masks. We social distance when at all possible. We were in small working groups. So I imagine it'll be quite similar um, just so that we can get through the entire competition without any um, contractions of COVID. And we were able to do that at Miss USA. So it worked and hopefully we'll be able to do that again so everyone can leave very healthy. Um, I 
I'm gonna pick one more question. Sorry, there's so many rolling in, I can't keep up. Um, I don't know who my roommate is. Um, advice I would give a contestant competing in their state pageant. Okay, I have three questions I'm gonna answer and then I'm gonna hop off. Um, you guys have been so much fun. I have enjoyed all of your questions. I wish I could answer them all, but there are far too many to do that. But I was about to answer a question and now I just forgot it. I am sorry. Um, I see so many things, I'm losing my train of thought, I apologize. Um, I don't know who my roommate is. Um, I do my own makeup. Oh yeah, here was the question. What advice would you give a contestant competing in their state pageant? The best advice I can give you is just to be yourself and make sure that you've done everything in your power to prepare. I feel like a lot of people will, will just wing it, which does work for some people, but for others it doesn't. Just figure out what works for you, how you can feel most confident, feel uh, like your best self, like you're presenting everything uh, in the best way possible, exuding confidence and just being true to yourself because there is no cookie cold, cookie cook, co why am I so tongue twisted? cookie cutter mold it's just you know i always say you know it's fate it happens as it should you know a different day a different set of judges a different outcome and so if it's your time it'll be your time regardless of if you trip on your evening gown or if you you know stumble over your question if you have that connection and and you've given it your all then it doesn't matter it'll work out if it if it's meant to be um the next question that i saw was um, let me find it again. Oh, crowning in Mississippi. That, oh my goodness, you guys, it was so amazing to be back home and I was welcomed with so much warmth, so much love. It was truly incredible and I will, that is a moment that is just in my heart. It is imprinted on my heart for so, for forever because that was just truly incredible and the love and support that I've received from my state has just been truly, truly amazing and I'm so grateful for that and um, the experience was just wonderful. I had such a great time and it was nice to be on the flip side of it, just watching the competition instead of being a part of it. Um, but I was still nervous in the audience because it felt like I was up there, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so it was great and um, it, it's always fun to, to watch a competition. Um, and one last question that I wanted to answer was, Miss Universe does broadcast on television. I don't think that we know the the network yet, but I'm sure it will be announced and everyone can be able to tune in and I will be sharing that information as well as soon as it is available. <sighs> but yes, I'm super excited for Miss Universe, you guys. I can't wait for you to see my evening gown, my interview outfit, my national costume. It's gonna be amazing. I'm super excited and I really feel like I was able to really um, show my a piece of me. I feel like I've really been able to show a piece of me, show my um, my heart and kind of like express myself through my outfits that I've chosen. So I'm super excited for you all to see. It's coming up super soon, so you don't have to wait too, too long. Um, but thank you guys so much for hopping on here and chatting with me. This has been amazing. Oh, thank you for loving my sweater. Um, super comfy. And I... I will hopefully do this again soon. Thank you guys for hopping on. I hope you have a beautiful Thursday afternoon and I will be trying to keep you guys updated even more in the future, but hopefully I'll see you at Miss Universe. If not, tune into the telecast on May 16th. See you later, guys.